Please like or dislike the video or leave a comment below. That will allow me to produce better videos and more of them in the future. So this is a more interesting market. We have a relatively short price favor in it. Well, it is short for a handicap, um, but we can see that it's being backed as well. So uh, you can see fairly persistent backing going on in this market. Our mission, should we choose to accept it, is to see whether this is going to continue or whether this is just going to thin out. Um, but it's far too early to make a call on this at this particular moment of time. I don't have a strong opinion at this particular moment. So I'm going to leave it for the moment and uh, join in when the market's a little bit stronger. By stronger, I mean, you know, there's not much money going through this market at the moment, 119,000. So we, we don't know if the market will continue this trend. You sort of suspect that maybe it will, but we need more evidence for this. So we're going to return to this in a second and have a closer look when the market springs to life. So two and a half is an interesting uh, point within the market. And I think a break below two and a half could um, accelerate this trend. So I'm just going to jump in and put a little bit of money at two and a half. I would expect the price to sort of head down towards about 238 or thereabouts. We're a bit too early, to be honest, for um, for doing this. I'd prefer that to, to be flush, full of money. So I'm expecting that at some point this will probably bounce back a little bit. But I suspect, you know, 250. Well, yeah, it's, it's going to be in the range 250 to 260, somewhere around there. You can see a fair amount of money stacked up between these two points. So the significance really is if it goes uh, and stays below 250. And we're continuing to see volume. I'm going to bring up a chart here and uh, have a look at that. So you can see it's it's doing lower highs all the time. Um, so my confidence is growing a bit that this is probably uh, going to be a half decent trade. But again, we still don't have much money. It's only 167,000, and we're about four minutes out. So we really need to see big chunks of money coming through uh, the market to be able to justify a big position. But if it if it goes, it could you know end up down towards two thirty or thereabouts, uh, which it has. If it breaks below two thirty, we're looking sort of oh, there. You go. Look at that. Fan. Bloody tastic. <laughs> I'm wishing I would have used more now. So all of a sudden we're beginning to assess, you know, where do we go from here? Because this curve is accelerating down fairly significantly from this particular point. So I can't imagine that that's going to continue forever. I imagine that um, we may want to feed some of this back into the market. Uh, because I, I can't see it going much, much lower than about this level. Um, if it does, then we'd be heading down towards twos. So I've just taken some of the profit out at this particular point, and we'll see if it can if it has the chance of breaking below 226. It's going to, and again, ah, oh, there's there's lots of interesting activity in this market. Somebody really likes this horse, so I'm going to wade in again. But you can see from the amount of uh, profit that I've got stacked up here, it's really a case of this is how far I'd be prepared to let the position go against me up to about sort of 230ish or thereabouts. Um, so there's an, another big slug of money coming in. So I think it's probably headed towards two. Can't imagine it going lower than twos. That would be pretty amazing if it did get that low. But I'm going to preempt it and I'm going to put a little bit of money in ahead of the current uh, price activity. And we're prepared to let it go bounce up to 2.3. But what I'm hoping will happen is that we'll get another slug of money in at some point, uh, which will pull the price back down again. But um, that person needs to appear, otherwise this is just going to sort of peter out, effectively. Excuse the pun. So, big chunks of money around this level. It's got to eat through all of that to get anywhere near to. So it would take a huge uh, chunk of money at this particular level to be able to do that. You have to be careful to guard against um, wanting it to go there, rather than interpreting and seeing that it is going there. It looks momentarily weak. At this moment in time, got an eye on the second favorite here because that's coming in a little bit harder than I imagined. But um, I'm waiting. We still don't. I mean, we've got three hundred odd thousand. I would expect that we would have a little bit more money than this in the market. I 
The money's coming for the second favourite at the moment. Let's have a quick look and see what's going on over there. So you can see it's gone out, come in. This is where the money's coming in here. But we're going to see if this um, gamble continues on the favourite here. You can see my position has weighted to the gamble continuing. It's paused temporarily here. But if it pushes lower, then we could see it go all the way down towards 2. We're beginning to see a lot more money come into the market here, so let's watch what's going on at 2.1 and see if that uh, accelerates. Need to keep an eye on the favourite here. So let's see if it touches. I'm not seeing any significant chunks of money coming in here. Momentum is with it it's temporarily at the moment. It's not. It's not fantastically strong. I think. There we go, there it is. I think that will trigger another bout of backing at this particular moment in time. be interesting to see where this stops, uh, because I imagine the person is, is looking at somewhere around twos and thinking that's probably far enough. If it breaks through twos, it would be amazing, and it has. You can still see we've got quite a large position in the market, but we're running out of time now. There's only about 30 seconds. So I'm just going to feed some money back in at this level. It's still, it's still trying to push lower. I'm just concerned about the amount of time we've got left. And half the horses loaded, nearly all of them are loaded, so we'll just uh, we'll be done with this position. Oops. Yeah, so that's a good trade. Four hundred odd pound, uh, net of two hundred and five. Quite happy with that. Um, but um, yeah, there you go. And now we've just hedged that. If we go to the one-click screen, you'll see, uh, there we go, 205 across the card.